Hello, good evening, guys. Hi, hi Fatima. Hi, yes. Hi, good evening. Hi, hi, Ma. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Estefania. <clears throat> Christian and Sabrina. Hi, teacher. Alice said it's connecting right now. Marcos is in my name as well. So guys, uh, what we will do right now is that I will go through the attendance list. Let's go through the attendance list. Oh my God, I don't know what's going on. Here we have it. Okay, we will go through the attendance list really quick guys. And we will start the class just in a moment, okay? Let's see. Okay. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, great. Let's see. Today is Friday. Friday the 13th. Wow, Friday the 13th. Uh, let's see, Cristian Jose Lopez Perez. Present. Okay, uh, Angela, sorry, Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Teacher. Present, teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Um, Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Kevin Alexander, bon, uh, Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Linda Magali García Montoya. Presentilla. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Smith Smith. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. 
Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Good evening. Good evening, Jose Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Yuri Alexandra Flores Parada. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, we will see. Okay, thank you very much for saying present guys. We will start the class. Let's see one moment and I will share the screen. This is the class 12, number 12. Um, one moment and let me share the screen. Do you see the screen now? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so guys, the topic for today is how to use present perfect. <clears throat> we will start with this topic. I believe it's going to be a new topic. Uh, you haven't uh, learned this topic before, right? Is it the first time for all of you guys that you are what? I mean, that you're learning this topic? First time? Yes, first time. First time? Okay, great. All right, so guys, I'm so happy to know that this is a um, topic for this course, okay? Even though you are in beginner, but present perfect is one of the most interesting topic in English. So please guys, uh, let's try to um, pay attention and participate in this topic. So first we have a, a, a speaking uh, reading practice about a conversation, okay? Let me get a second and let me share the screen. Here we have it. Okay, so we have a conversation here. Um, let me get a second. This is between Luke and between George, okay? So let me read it for you. And later on, we will go ahead and check the, the bold the bowl words, okay? All right, so it says, uh, what's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it out. Sorry, I have checked it before and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, and Mario, or Mario, the technician has checked it, check it too. We have now verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance teams replaced the, the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. All right. So let's see. Um, I would like to ask you guys, what do you understand whenever uh, George asks the question? I mean, say, uh, I have checked it everywhere and it won't work. Who can translate this for me, guys? Who can translate it in Spanish? Who can translate it? I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. Eh, dice que la he revisado de todos lados y no sé por qué no se enciende. Mm -hmm. And it won't work, exactly. And, and it won't work. In that case, it's like 
en, en future, right? Y no encenderá. O sea, pero acá está raro este uso, pero ok. It won't turn on. No, no, no va a encender, algo así. Pero sí, lo correcto sería, Sabrina, como usted lo dijo, y no enciende, ¿verdad? And it doesn't work. Ok. Uh, but ok. You did it correctly. Sabrina said, yo lo he revisado. Ok. Yo lo he revisado. Entonces, ese es el tiempo. That's the tense that we will learn today. Uh, let's see the next one. Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Who can tell me what is this in Spanish? I mean, how do you translate this in Spanish? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Are plugged? Mm -hmm. Ha revisado si todos los cables están bien o, o conectados. Very good. Great. Uh, good job, Jonathan. Let's see another one. Um, oh, what is the answer? What is the translation of the answer? How do you translate that? Sí, lo hice. Lo he hecho. Uh -huh. Lo he hecho. I have. Lo, lo he hecho. hecho. Very good. Okay, next one. We have now verified the rest of the computers. What is the translation of this? We have now verified the, the rest of the computers. No, he verifica no hemos verificado Great. el resto de las computadoras. Great, perfect. And the, the, let's see the last one. Has the maintenance things replaced the, the batteries? What about that one? Has the maintenance team ha, uh, has the maintenance team replaced the, the batteries? El equipo de mantenimiento ha reemplazado la batería o renovado la batería. Once again, Sabrina, sorry. El equipo de mantenimiento ha renovado las baterías. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ha renovado el equipo de mantenimiento las baterías. Great, perfect. Good job, guys. Okay. So this is not past, okay? This is this is not an action that already passed. Yes? It's not an action in present as well. It's not simple present, it's not simple past. It's not present continuous, right? So what is this tense? I mean, what what the what this what is this tense? This tense is the present perfect. Okay, that's the name, present perfect, presente perfecto, okay? So let's see, um, let me go ahead and, and, and ask you some questions randomly, okay, just some questions. Oh, let me go, let me go down. I, I just have a, an exercise, I always forget that, that part. But let's circle the correct words, complete these statements compared with the partner. How do I say, do I say have or has they checked? the system has or have guys what do you think have. we're guessing have. right now right we're guessing because have. teacher you haven't teach you haven't taught that you haven't taught that teacher okay so uh has have right have perfect have they checked the system mary have or has had the same problem with her computer mary has had has had the same problems with the with her computer perfect what about our boss our boss sorry has sent or our boss has sent a letter to the it department what do you think is the correct one here sent or sent we are making assumptions right now because this is the first time that we are reviewing this topic but what do you think is it sent Same. or it is sent second Same. first one or second first one first one first one first one okay great uh let me get a second let me let me verify something here could you please uh, guys, do me a favor. 
investigate what is the past participle of the verb send. Could you please do that? The, the past participle of send. Remember, we have the present simple, right? I mean, the infinitive verb, infinitive. Then we have simple past, and then we have, oh my God, past participle. Okay, could you please, I know you have a chart and this chart, I already sent it to you. There are three charts I send it to you whenever we learn about the simple past. So I know you have it. If not, let's Google it, okay? Let's Google it. But for example, in the infinitive, let's, let's go ahead and put an example. We have the word, I mean, the, the verb break, okay? Break. In simple past is broke, right? And in past participle is broken. So I need the past participle of send. Do you know what it is, guys? And with the T. With the T. Sure? 100% sure, Sabrina? Send S E L T. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay, so it's sent, right? All right. So, guys, I will go ahead and explain this just in a moment. But since Sabrina told us that the past participle is sent, I will choose sent, okay? Because Sabrina said it's the past participle. So, I will choose sent, the past participle, okay? So, uh, okay, this is like um a preview about this topic okay we are just introducing this topic okay to you guys just introducing this topic to you and now i just don't remember about what what i told you before about this let me rem let me oh my god <sighs> I was about to ask you something else about this conversation and now it disappeared. I just forgot because it, it is something that, that comes to my mind today, right now. That's what I forgot it. <laughs> I didn't plan it. So I wanted to make another activity, but I just forgot it. But okay, guys. Um, I would like to ask you, okay, ask you, let me see. Mm, no, that's not going to work, but okay, let me see. What kind of verb is the, is the one that I have here, guys? What kind of verb is it? Is it regular or irregular verb? Could you please tell me? Regular or irregular verb? Regular. Regular, great, perfect. Do we have any irregular verb in the conversation? Any irregular? No. Sure. I mean, maybe no. it is not inflected. Quizás no está conjugado, pero is there any verb that is irregular if you put it in past or in past participle? Let, let, oh, let me see. Have, right? Very have. good. Uh huh. Had is an irregular. Float. Float. Have. Okay. All are float. Okay. Oh, that's a that's a regular. Okay. That's a regular verb. As Sabrina plugged. Okay. Sorry. Estamos viendo como ahorita no lo vean como 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 que okay. eh, check está la parte has o si solamente estamos identificando verbos, verdad? Ahora, vamos a identificar verbos irregulares en toda la oración. Eh, sorry, en toda la conversación. Oh, by the way, let me see. Do we have any irregular verb, aunque no está inflected, aunque no está conjugado, está otro verbo irregular? Let's see. Uh, no, no, right? Eh, turn, turn, what about turn? Is that regular or irregular? Turn. Regular or irregular? Turn? Turn. It's not regular. Regular, right? Okay. I will go ahead and circle as a regular. What about... Heard? 
Alex. Está conjugado, ¿verdad? Let me see. Where is it? Yeah, I mean, or oh, heard. Heard? Is that irregular or irregular? Regular or irregular? Creo que es irregular. Ah, okay. Irregular. Oh, we will keep it. We will keep it. Oh, we will keep it. Don't worry. What about send? Is it regular or irregular? Irregular. 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 C? C is, is it regular or regular? Irregular. 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 Oh. What about hope? Regular. Hope? Regular or irregular? Regular. 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 What about fix? Is that regular or irregular? Regular. 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 Great. Perfect. So, guys, those are the regulars. All the regulars were. It can be, they can be inflected or not inflected, but they are irregular, okay? No matter if they are inflected or not inflected. So let's identify the irregular verbs, okay? Irregular verbs. Irregular verbs are no, right? We have a no here. What else, guys? Regular. That's irregular, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Another irregular verb? What about have? Irregular, right? Regular. Irregular. <laughs> uh -huh. What about... Um, guys, come on, help me out, help me out. Heard, Sabrina said heard, if that's irregular. Uh, what else? Jonathan? Irregular. Okay, irregular. irregular. Another verb, Irre another irregular verb? Send. See? Send. Very good. See. Good job. And that's it, right? Perfect. Okay. Guys, congratulations. You already identified the regulars and the irregular verbs. Okay? So. Mm -hmm. And coming, no, no lo tomamos en cuenta. Yes, we can take we can take it into account because we are taking into account all the verbs in the conversation, right? So what okay. about coming let's bring it to the infinitive come come is regular or irregular regular sure um, regular okay. irregular irregular very good okay irregular okay coming okay so let me let me switch just to spanish a little bit no quiero que se me confundan porque estamos eh, como, uy, ya no lo encuentro, porque estamos identificando todos los verbos en general, ¿ok? No, lo único que estamos haciendo es identificando verbos, ¿ok? No importando si estos verbos están conjugados o no conjugados, pero creo que es un buen ejemplo para identificar verbos si ellos son regulares o irregulares, ¿ok? Ahora, now, let's go down to business, okay? All right. Uh, let me do something. Let me stop sharing, okay? Let me stop sharing and let me share the presentation I have here for you, All right? All right, so here we have a table of the verse, okay? Here we have table of all the verse, okay? Those are the infinitive, let me see. One second. I'm just looking for this. Here we have the infinitives, right? Here we have the infinitives. Here we have the simple uh, past simple. And here we have the past participle verse. You already know, guys, the infinitive verse. You already know this, okay? No inflective, no inflection, sorry. Usted no lo conjuga, por eso es infinitivo. Y muchas veces es infinitivo porque le ponemos el to, pero muchas veces lo conocemos como base forma y le eliminamos el to en base forma, ¿verdad? Base forma de los verbos. Ok, you already know the past simple o the simple past. Ustedes ya se saben eso porque ya lo estudiamos el pasado. Ok, so what about the past simple? Ok, the past simple are in the third line of this of the of the table 
you have already studied about the past simple. I mean, the past participles. Me acuerdo que lo estudiaron cuando estábamos viendo la voz pasiva. Cuando dimos la introducción de la voz pasiva, ¿se acuerda? Como cuando dijimos, eh, um, voy a poner una voz activa y una voz pasiva. Uh, let's see. Alexandra made pupusas today. Ok. Let me, let me go ahead and, and do this sentence. Ok. In a passive voice. Ahora lo voy a hacer en voz pasiva. Eh, las pupusas. Sorry. Uh, yes, las pupusas. Um, made pupusas. Ok. The, the pupusas were made were made by Alexandra today. today. So, ¿qué es lo que dije? Alejand Alexandra hizo pupusas ahora, ¿sí? En voz pasiva. Las pupusas fueron hechas por Alexandra. Esa es la voz pasiva y eso ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? Solamente que lo vimos en presente, no en pasado, pero solamente para recordarles que ya vimos el pasado participle. So, this past participle has like three uses. Tiene como tres usos. El primero, guys, eh, se utiliza, esto lo vamos a ver hasta después, en algunos adjetivos, past participle. Segundo, lo ocupamos para la voz pasiva. Y tercero, lo ocupamos para el presente perfecto, que es la estructura que vamos a estudiar ahora. ¿Ok? So, now, in this class, Let's take a look and let's uh, focus on the past participles, please. En esta clase nos vamos a enfocar en los past participles, guys. Ok, solamente nos vamos a enfocar acá en ellos, ¿ve? En the third line, la tercera línea. Vayan a Google o vayan a buscar la lista que les mandé la vez pasada. Si quieres se las puedo reenviar. ¿En este grupo la he enviado? No, ¿verdad? Lo voy a mandar de nuevo. One moment. Pero please, use the list. Utilicemos esta lista, guys, ¿ok? Utilicemos, la ahorita la vamos a necesitar porque probablemente no nos sabemos estos verbos by heart. No nos lo, puede, no los, no los hemos memorizado todavía todo, pero entonces nos va a ayudar bastante ahorita. Let me see. Les voy a pasar una lista de past participle verbs y les voy a mandar esa lista para I don't, I, don't, I don't find the list. No encuentro las listas, guys. Déjenme ver. Déjenme ver. Pero me acuerdo que ya se las había mandado. ¿Alguien tiene a la mano los verbos en pasado? ¿Las tres listas que les mandé de los verbos en pasado? ¿Que nos lo compartan? ¿No? No, teacher. No, teacher, sorry. No utiliza la lista, guys. No sean así. Hay teacher. que estar... In my, in my case, I, I changed my phone. Is that the reason that I don't have some nothing in person? No worries, Jonathan. Thank you. Pero verdad que no, en este curso no lo hemos visto. Lo vimos en el 4. Ahorita se lo voy a mostrar, ¿ok? Porque quiero que la tengan a la mano. Ahorita que vamos a estudiar esto. Pero de verdad, abra la lista, verifique la, usen la, guys. Úsenlas, porque son varias. Son tres. Oh my God. I don't find them. Planté esto. Oye, por mi trabajo, mi amor. Oh, no. Those are not the ones. Here we have them. Aquí se las voy a mandar. Vaya, todos vayan a ver la lista, please. Para que al menos sepan que ahí están. Vaya, miren, ahí están, ¿ve? Ahí están. Ahí están las tres listitas. Y son eh, dos documentos de PDF 
uno está los irregulares, en otro está los irregulares, los regulares, los irregulares, y en el otro está una lista de los irregulares. No, perdón. En el link que les mandé está solamente los irregulares. En el segundo los regulares y en la tercera es un, es un mix de los dos. La tercera la pueden utilizar bastante ahorita. ¿Ok? So cuando les vaya preguntando, hey guys, what is the past participle of this verb? Let's open the list, ¿ok? Abramos la listita para que lo vayamos viendo. Ok, so guys, understanding this past participle, ¿ok? Those are the verbs that we are going to study and use in this unit, okay? I mean, in this topic, in this topic. Okay, let me continue then, all right? So here we have the present perfect. And I will ask, let's see. Fatima, could you please help me to read the definition of the present perfect that is in this slide? Okay. The present perfect tense refers to an action or a state that either occur, occur at an infinitive time in the past or better in the past and continue to the present time. Very good, very good, Fatima. So the present perfect tense refers to an action or a state that either let me see one moment. Okay, that either uh, occurred at an undefined time in the past. So, pasó en el pasado, right? In the past. Here, here we have the past, here we have the present, and here we have the future. Okay, so that action, this action, guys, happened here. Okay, here. This is you performing the action in the past, okay? And continue to the present. Continue to the present. That means that it has importance in the present. Tiene importancia todavía. Ese hecho que ha pasado, okay, tiene importancia todavía en el presente. ¿Sí? Todavía tiene mucha importancia, por eso es que tenemos esta línea hacia acá, ¿sí? No es que, ok, yo ya comí, yo ya comí, ya subo, ¿verdad? Ya no tiene importancia porque ya comí. Entonces, ¿qué pasa si yo digo, yo he comido sushi una vez en mi vida? ¿Ok? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es la diferencia de, de esas dos oraciones? Yo digo, yo... Comí sushi, per perdón, yo comí sushi, ya estuvo. Ah, ok, fine, ok, usted comió sushi. Su intención es decirme que usted ya comió y salud, right? <ríe> Solo informarme que usted ya comió en ayer, por ejemplo. Pero qué pasa si yo le digo, eh, Jaime, yo comí, yo he comido sushi una vez en mi vida. Mm, eso todavía me importa a mí en un presente, porque pueda que usted coma sushi más veces en su vida, porque solo una vez ha comido, ¿sí? Entonces, lo que usted me quiere dar a demostrar en la segunda oración es que usted ha comido sushi una vez en su vida. Y eso todavía importa en el presente. Why? Because you can repeat the action. No puedes repetir esta acción. Y ahorita vamos a ver los usos del present perfect, ¿ok? So, before going to the next, this one, let's go to the usage, okay, of the usages of the simple present. We have an example and we have the usage here. Um, Amilcar, are you there, Amilcar? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Amilcar. Could you please help me to read the first use, this one? Uh, the first. Mm -hmm. This one. Uh, la que me está marcando o la primera de la de izquierda? This one. Mm -hmm. okay. just, just the uses and, and yes. Jaime, could you please uh, say the example? 
just mentioned the example. I mean, Marcos, you will read the usage and then uh, Jaime the example. Okay. 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 Uh, to express thing you have uh, done done in your life. Great. Example, Jaime. She has never studied Japanese. Okay, thank you guys. All right, so the first use is to express things that you have done in your life. Okay? She has never studied Japanese. Okay, teacher, but you are telling me things that you have done, pero ella nunca lo ha hecho. Okay. Sí, pero también podemos poner en negativa la oración, ¿sí? ¿Y cómo lo ponemos negativo? Lo vamos a poner negativo utilizando esta palabrita de never. Y ya con eso lo hacemos negativo. No necesito decir she hasn't. O lo puedo hacer así, pero lo que quiero decir ahí es que nunca lo ha hecho. She has never studied Japanese. Es algo que en su vida no lo ha hecho. O también puedo decir she has studied Japanese sin el never. Okay. De, las dos, de las dos maneras, pero ¿de qué estamos hablando, guys? Estamos hablando de que ella eh, ha hecho una acción en su vida, expresando algo que ha hecho en su vida, ¿ok? Let's, thank you, guys. Let's go to the next one. Um, Amilcar en Jaime. Could you please help me to read this? Amilcar. Okay, teacher. The second. The second. Okay. To express number of, of time you have done something. Great. How many times have, have you tried to call here? Very good. Call here. Okay. So you use the present perfect guys to express the number of times that you have done something. Okay, for example, how many times have you tried to call her? Says, this is a question. Pero también puede decir usted, I have called her three times. Está expresando el número de veces, ¿verdad? Ya sea en cualquier tipo de estructura negativa, negativa, afirmativa o interrogativa, usted está diciendo el número de veces que ha hecho algo. So, how many times have you tried to do something? I do it to express numbers of time. Okay? Let's go with, sorry. Está, no, 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 este. Mm, mm, mm. Mabel, Mabel, en Marcos Antonio. Mabel, could you please help me to read the definition, I mean the usage? And Marcos, you help me with the example. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> okay. To describe recently completed actions which are important now. Very good. Great. By the way, thank you, Jaime, and thank you, Amilka. So, to express, to describe recently completed actions, which are important now, okay? Recently completed actions, which are important now. Example, uh, Marcos? I have some bad news. I have lost my job. I've, I've lost. I've lost. Ay, esa contracción me va a matar. <laughs> I've lost. I've lost. I mean, I've lost my job. I mean, I've lost my job. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have some bad news. I've lost my job. What is the, the completed action here? That you have lost. I mean, you have some, but I mean, I have lost the job. Sorry, give me a second. This is not that. Okay, what is the bad news here, guys? That you have lost your job. Esta es la forma contractada de decir I have. Okay? I've. I've. My job. I've. La forma contractada, bueno, ya lo vamos a ver, pero la forma contractada de she and he es como es she has, ¿verdad? 
Sorry for my handwriting, but it's difficult. Is she has. So, la, for, la forma contractada sería she's. Esta guy se confunde mucho como she is, ok? La contracted form. ¿Cómo usted va a lograr identificar si es el she is o el she has? Por el verbo que siga, ¿verdad? She's o his o it's, ok? ¿Cómo usted lo va a diferenciar? Viendo el contexto. Yo digo she's. She's lost the, my, the job. She's lost the job. Ok, ella ha perdido su trabajo, pero está en cuatro cabos. Pero si yo digo, she's, she's beautiful, ¿verdad? Súper diferente. Entonces, siempre vean en la estructura, el contexto. So, very good. So, what is important? What is still important? ¿Qué es lo que es importante ahorita? Que como yo perdí mi trabajo, guys, eso todavía. Importa en el presente, ¿por qué? Porque hay una consecuencia y eso no me va a ayudar en mi presente porque no voy a comer, ¿verdad? No tengo trabajo. Entonces, si sí, la acción ya, ya pasó, ¿verdad? Yo entiendo que ya pasó. I've lost my job, ¿ok? A diferencia que yo diga, I lost my job and I got uh, hired in another place, ¿ok? Quiere decir que el hecho de que usted perdió su trabajo ya no importa en el presente porque usted encontró otro. Por eso es que usted dijo, I lost my job. ¿Sí? Pero usted utiliza el presente perfecto porque usted quiere dar a entender que eso le va a traer consecuencias en el presente porque no tiene otro trabajo. Entonces usted dice, I've lost my job. ¿Y eso qué me está entendiendo a mí? Que usted ya lo, yo lo ha perdido ahora y la verdad es consecuencia porque usted no tiene ahorita uno. Entonces eso es importante ahorita. ¿Ok? ¿Vamos bien hasta ahí, guys? Con estos three uses. Are we okay? Are you following me? Guys, we need to get a practice. Yes, I know. Okay, let me go to the next one. <clears throat> uh, Mabel, could you please help me with the next use? And Marcos, with the okay. example. To express situations that started in the past and are still true. Very good. Marcos? I have known Janice for, for four or five years. I've known. I've known. Repeat again. I've known. I've not. Known. Acuérdense I've de las final not. sounds. I've known. I've known. I've known. I've known. Very good. Very good. Okay, so no. I've known James for four or five years. Okay. Fíjense esta. Vamos a expresar una situación que empezó en el pasado y todavía es verdadera en el futuro. I mean, todavía es el verdadera. Sorry. For example, I've known James for four or five years. Yo he conocido a Jaime por cuatro o cinco años. ¿Verdad? Todavía es verdadero esto porque Jaime todavía existe, ¿verdad? Y porque todavía lo estoy conociendo. Entonces eso, eso es verdadero todavía, el hecho de que todavía sigue este proceso y el hecho de que todavía importa en el presente. I've known James for four or five years, ¿ok? Como que usted vaya y dice de una referencia, no, yo he conocido a Cristian eh, por cuatro o cinco años ya, ¿ok? Eso, eso es algo que importa en el presente y es verdadero todavía, ¿ok? So, let's see. Uh, I don't know if Lisa is still a listener. Marta Lidia, are you a listener today or would you like me to help you to read? Yes, I, I can help you. 
Ah, okay, Lisette and Marta. Could you please help me, Lisette and Marta? Lisette here and Marta here. Okay, to describe unfinished action or situation. Great. Example, Marta. I be, I be read half of the book. I've read read half of the book. I read half half of the book. Good job. Okay, so we use the present perfect to describe and finished actions or situations. Acciones y esta es una de las que más vamos a utilizar, guys. Vamos a, a, a utilizar el presente perfecto para describir situaciones que todavía no han terminado o situaciones que todavía no han terminado. Por ejemplo, I've, re I've read half of the book. Yo he leído la mitad del libro. Are you going to continue reading the book, guys? Are you going to continue reading the book? Or you finish already? Yes, you. He is not finished. He not hasn't yet. finished, right? He, he hasn't finished. finished. I am going to continue reading the book. I just have read half of it. Okay? Um. Exactly. So this is an unfinished action, okay? And I will continue in the future, okay? Like I have uh, studied half of my course, okay? Oh, I have a studied, um, no, no, I was going to be saying another example and I don't remember. Next one, um, Lisette and um, Marta. Okay, to, ex to express present result. Result. Uh -huh. Result. Good. Marta? Joe has missed miss the bus, so help be late. Very good. John has missed the, the bus, so he'll be late. Missed? Uh -huh. Missed? Miss. Missed. Uh -huh. missed the bus. Missed, Just missed. the bus. Missed. Miss the best. Mm -hmm. Miss. Uh -huh, miss. Okay. Uh -huh. So we express the present to express the present result. Okay, algo que queremos presentarlo. Eh, perdón, un resultado que queremos expresar en el presente. John has missed the bus, so he'll be late. Este se parece, es muy parecido a este, miren. A este que todavía es importante la acción. Ok, pero es un resultado también que está en el presente. John has missed the bus, so he'll be late. Ok. So, guys, básicamente tenemos how many uses. We have three uses, I mean six uses. And thank you for the ones who helped me to read this. Um, we have all of these uses. Ok, but at the end, guys, remember that we use the present perfect that uh, for an action that is started in the past and it is still important in a few in the present okay that's what it is questions that we might have guys about those uses or the examples questions no okay let me go to this structure this is the present perfect tense, okay? For now, I will go ahead and show it to you. The affirmative, the negative, and the, and the interrogative. That's it, okay? All right, so present perfect tense, we have the affirmative form. The affirmative form, we have subject, okay? We have have or has, depending on the, of the person, if it is third person or not. And then we have the past participle. That's it, guys. And the complement. Aquí falta el complement, pero sometimes we will use it. And sometimes it's not, you know, complement. So, uh, example. I have tried sushi. I have tried sushi, okay? 
I have tried sushi. Yo lo he probado. Yo he probado sushi. Okay, I have tried. Have you tried sushi? Yes, I have. I have tried sushi once in my life. Okay. Uh, what about the negative one? The negative is seen. Uh, here we have, we have subject. We have, uh, let's see. No, you know what? Let me do something. Hágame un favor, guys. Mándenme una oración ahorita al chat con la forma afirmativa. La que acabamos de aprender ahorita. Subject, have and has. Has es para tercera persona. Plus past participle. Plus complement. Mándeme, please, una, una oración en afirmativa. Un ejemplo. Al chat, guys. O a WhatsApp. Ok, guys, mándenme una, una forma afirmativa. Pueden utilizar cualquier uso, solamente pues algo que es importante ahorita. Uh, ah, ah, <ríe> ah, ok. Solo me mandan con la afirmativa ahorita, guys. Let's have, uh, let's see. Five minutes to create this. Five minutes, guys. Vamos a ver los examples que tenemos por acá. All righty. Mm, I have... Mm. What is the past Uy, participle of C? What is the sin, sin, ¿verdad? Sao es el pasado normal y sin es el pasado. Se me equivoqué. Ya lo corrijo, teacher. <laughs> ok, thank you. Do, guys, denme un segundito, solo déjeme ir a traer algo rapidito. Okay, guys, thank you. Let me see. I got more examples here. Hmm.
Oh, we are still missing, guys. Apenas llevo ocho examples. Okay, let's go ahead and try to make the exercise. I mean, make the example, please, guys, so we can learn. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Sabrina. I have seen the, this picture. Very good. I finished my homework. Very good. I have animated today. John, sorry, Jonathan. Eh, eso no lo entiendo. Sorry, I don't get that one. Maybe, trató de decir, o lo puede hacer así, mire, Jonathan. I have tried to be or to feel, maybe. Cheerful, maybe. Que se suena un poco mejor. No le escucho, sorry. I had tried to feel cheerful, tal vez. Okay. Oh, animated. I had no, tried to uh, animated. Some like a uh, uh, emotional status. Ah, okay. Entonces sí, ahí sí tiene que ser el have siempre utilizando el have o el has y un verbo de acción, sí. Como I have tried, yo he tratado de sentirme. I had tried to feel animated, maybe. <clears throat> okay. Podemos cambiar este. Uh, next one. I have seen this picture. Sorry, Sabrina. I didn't. Uh, I didn't saw that. Uh, I didn't see that. Sorry. I had played yesterday. Uy, el, per el period. No me lo están poniendo, guys. I had played yesterday. I had played. Oh, algo muy interesante, guys, que fíjense que los time expressions para present perfect varían en este caso. Ya van a variar un poco porque, por ejemplo, el yesterday, si ocupamos el time expression de yesterday, es como que yo jugué ayer, ¿verdad? Yo, I played yesterday, es algo que ya pasó. Entonces, tratemos de cambiar nada más ese, Yarixa, tal vez podemos decir, I have played soccer, tal vez I have played soccer or I have played soccer for 20 minutes today, okay y puede ser que esta acción de jugar, verdad, soccer se va a repetir en maybe mañana, okay tomorrow or on this week Fatima, she has got not a new cell phone. She has got a new cell phone. Very good. Um, I have drunk a lot of Coca-Cola. Very good. I have finished my exam. Very good. I have seen that movie. Very good. I have lost my keys. Very good. She has found very much money. She has found, okay, great. Let's see the ones that you sent here. I have worked today. She has listened to a great song this afternoon. Okay, I like that one. She has listened to a great song this afternoon. Okay, um, I have, uh, I have, I have, oh, en ese caso, Lisette, el bean es otro, otro, es otro, Tiempo. Solamente pongamos I have studied. Yo he estudiado. Creo que solamente eso serían, right, guys? Okay. Guys, no. So let's go ahead and make another sense. Oh, okay. Amilcar, I have cooked pizza. A pizza. I have cooked a pizza. Okay. Hasta ahí. El now. Creo que es como I have cooked a pizza now. Ahorita, ¿verdad? Entonces es mejor, I have cooked the pizza. I have studied, very good. 
Ok, guys, ahora mándeme un ejemplo con el na, uh, con el negative. El negative lo hacemos de la siguiente forma. We have subject, we have have not, ok. Solo le agregamos el not o el has not o en contractado va a ser contracted form haven't or hasn't. Plus past participle plus complement. For example, I have not tried sushi. Lo único que le haremos es el not, ¿ok? Ahora mándeme una oración con el not, please, guys. Una negativa, ¿all right? Guys, les voy a compartir time expressions que usted puede ocupar con, este, con esta estructura. Deme un segundo y se las voy a compartir antes de leer los siguientes ejemplos. Eh, guys, let me see. Fíjense que este. Mm, ya vamos a repasar esos time expressions. Give me a second. Les voy a dejar de compartir rapidito. Let me, let me get a moment. Guys. Y se los voy a poner en la presentación para que ustedes lo tengan. Aunque sea mucha información con respecto a eso, pero créanme que les va a servir bastante. Ok, time expressions. Teacher. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think. Oh, excuse uh, me. La, la agenda, teacher. Oh, la, la attendance. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just one moment. Solamente les paso esos time expressions y ahorita paso la attendance. Thank you.
Okay, guys. So, thank you for the examples. Ya casi los paso solamente, los leo, sorry, solo paso la attendance list rapidito. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Cris uh, Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Carla Lizeth Escobar Esquivel. No sé si. Hicimos un partidito como de 10 minutos. Ah, no, no. No está aquí. Carla, right? Y supuestamente es que le cae. Ok, let's go to the next one. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Kevin Present Alexander teacher. Aguilar Bonilla. Thank you. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Lizette del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marcos, can you stay with me in the one-on-one session today? Yes, teacher. Great. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present. Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Thank you. Present. Zulma Yerixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Yuri Alexandra Flores Parada. Present, Miss. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Ok. Great, guys. So, let me read the examples that you send it. Um, we have, uh, she has, oh, she has, I'm sorry. I have not checked the package. Very good. She has not received the product. Good. I have not played soccer. I have not worked. I have not done my bed. I haven't tasted the wine. I have not answered my English exam. I haven't gone shopping. Very good. She has not told this story. Very good. I haven't eaten chicken in lunch. Okay, in lunch. You haven't heard the good news. Great. Let's see here if we have examples. Uh, she has not finished her homework. Good. I have not drive. Mm -hmm. She has not 